Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, super excited. You guys have been asking to update this video, of course. And I've gotten a few other video requests, but certain videos just don't make sense at this current time. But best players at each position always make sense, right? Because things are constantly changing in the Madden landscape. It's definitely fun to go through and adjust as the time comes through. Now, before we get into today's video, guys, as per usual, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video, and of course, comment down below. Let me know what's up. Let me know who is your favorite player in Mutt overall. Like, who's the who's your meta player, right? You guys need coins for any of these players? Head on down to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for five percent off your order. Now, let's head into it, guys. Now, you guys know the rules. We don't do offensive linemen or special teams for a few reasons. First off. I feel like offensive linemen, it's just kind of like you look at the stats. If you're run heavy, you get a, a you know the best running lineman position you can find. If you're pass heavy, you go pass. And if you have enough coins, you get the guys that can do both, and it really doesn't matter, right? If you like to pull a lot, you get more speed and excel. It's very circumstantial. Now we're gonna start off at quarterback. Of course, that's where we usually start out. Quarterback, there's been a few good ones recently, but the best one is here. The best one was just dropped approximately two days ago, and that's going to be brett Favre. this brett Favre is the best quarterback in madden first off he's a strong arm quarterback off the rip gives him you know benefits for ap now he's 81 speed which can get up to 84 uh, speed which is good for brett Favre. he'll have 99 throw power 99 throw short 99 throw medium and 96 throw deep as well as 99 throw under pressure and a few other things right he's going to be one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the game one of the strongest arm quarterbacks in the game as well as gunslinger and all the abilities you want and some speed and he has the uh, i believe the second fastest release in the game so brett Favre, is a meta card right you really just can't argue that now at running back i it depends on what system you're playing on right so if you're playing on next gen it may change i play on current gen personally for me the best running back is going to be dree archer in madden and it's not even close in my opinion right Dre archer is everything you want what do you want on current gen right now okay real quick if you're on next gen it's michael turner from what i've heard because he's uh he's he's, su he's super chunky uh he's really good he falls forward on next gen but current gen in my personal opinion Dre archer blows what do you want in current gen? you want speed 99 checks that box excel 99 checks that box agility 99 checks that box change direction can also get to 99 you have 99 in every stat that matters oh wait and break tackle will get up to 99 as well and he can catch there's just it's a no-brainer this is the card any super tiny so he can get in and out of tackles very easily he's gonna feel more agile on next gen even as well yes he's not gonna be a powerful trucking back but if he can break tackles he can swerve people he can juke uh you know human joystick get around people do everything he has to do Dre archer's Dre archer's a monster i think Dre archer's the best running back in the game fullback sorry we skipped fullback wide receivers wide receivers we have a few you know i personally like a few guys here now i think that this new Braylon Edwards is one of the best wide receivers in the game. He will get 99 speed, 99 jumping, uh, 90, 99 catch and traffic, 99 short, 95, 99 medium, and 99 deep route running. So max route running, max speed, max jumping, max spec catch, maybe max catch and traffic, one of the two, depending on chems. And he'll be six foot three, right? And he has strength, and he has stiff arm, and he has juke. It's unbelievable. 90 change of direction. I think that's the best wide receiver in the game. And for the second receiver, Okay, here's the thing. So we got we just got to see Sterling Sharp in the game. Sterling Sharp is really good. He's he's a great receiver. I think him and then the uh, Darius Hayward Bay and Braylon Edwards might be the three best wide receivers in the game right now. Uh, Sterling Sterling Sharp will get 99 route running. Besides deep, of course, he'll get 99 catch in traffic, 99 catching, 99 speed. He's 5'11", but then after the catch, guys, he has a really good. Um, he's, he's pretty good juke. He has some stiff, some change of direction. He's like a tinier Braylon Edwards, right? And then Darius Hayward Bay. As well, he's just super good. Again, 99 speed. He's going to have crazy after the catch stuff. And of course, powered up and kept up 99 deep, 99 medium. But what really matters is going to be the 95 juke, the 93 change of direction, and so on and so forth. So these wide receivers are great. I personally, these are the best ones. You know, we have a few other guys like Dez and uh, David Boston, but they, they just weren't fast enough for the most part. Like, well, Dez wasn't at least. And, you know, David Boston, 95 as well. I really like those guys. Of course, Randy Moss and a few other wide receivers are going to come out soon and completely just destroy that. But for the time being, these are the best ones. Now, tight end. We just got some new tight ends. Jeremy Shock is good, right? I like him, but I don't think these are the best tight ends yet. I don't think we have a best tight end in the game yet. I still think that Vernon Davis with that 93 speed is probably the best tight end in Madden. Now, a close second. You know, of course, we still have Darren Waller. Darren Waller is good as well. 
but I think that I think that Vernon Davis is best tight end in Madden. Now, again, you can go ahead and get the other guys. They're slightly slower, but Vernon Davis will get a 96 uh, speed with route running and run blocking, right? So I think Vernon Davis is the best tight end in Madden personally, but if you can sacrifice a little speed, like even just a little bit, you know, not much, then Jeremy Shockey probably takes the cake here, right? Because Jeremy Shockey is one speed less, but he's crazy everywhere else. So I think Vernon Davis, because it's just a pure speed standpoint, takes it, but Jeremy Shockey is just about tied, if not the best one, you know, right there. So, you know, don't 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 discount it. If you care more about stats, then go Jeremy Shockey. If you care about pure speed, you go Vernon Davis. But rem remember, threshold-wise, they'll play similar. But Jeremy Shockey gets a lot of 99s, so he's pretty crazy, right? But again, a lot of people only care about speed. So I got to always, you know, keep that in mind while making these videos. Left end. Left end, guys. We've got some pretty good players recently. Now, for left end, Javon Curse, I think, still takes the cake here as a speed rusher. He's going to get up to 95 speed, 97 excel, with 99 finesse. That's all you got to know. He's going to be a crazy fast uh, edge rusher, and it's not going to even be close, right? He's just he's just crazy, crazy athletic. Right end. Again, a place we've gotten a few good guys as well. Now, if we head on over to right end, we're missing that, you know, that big 98, 99 guy, but you know that's coming soon. No doubt in my mind that's coming soon. But for the meantime, guys, we've gotten a few good ones. But the best one, of course, is going to be, well, there's two here. Chase Young doesn't have a power, but that's the only thing holding him back. Aaron Donald, though, is that, you know, his um his defensive player of the year card, gonna get max power move, could get uh, max blocks if you so feel free. Uh, you know, 99 strength. He's going to have pretty good speed, good excel, going to have crazy stats all around the board, 80 jumping, going to have 98 impact blocking, uh, 93 hit power. Aaron Donald's a beast, but we're gonna get better ones, right? The super athletic red ends are coming, and we know for a fact they're coming, so just wait, wait along for those. If you don't feel like you wanna shell out for, you know, an Aaron Donald card that, you know, is currently the best but won't be the best for the long next guys a defensive tackle we have john randall and the marco bard now the thing with these guys is people don't use defensive tackles so john randall is going to have the 83 speed 94 excel but won't get max block shed and power move which is the problem and then demarco bar sorry demarco far does not get the um he gets max finesse move and he can get max block shed if you use run stuff so i think demarco far in my opinion is better than john randall because he'll get 99 finesse move and he'll get 99 block shed with run stuff but again Defensive tackles aren't really used, which is why I'm not going to spend too much time on them. Left outside linebacker. We have gotten some good ones here as well, guys. Now, Carl Banks was kind of uh, was kind of ruined. But good thing for us, we have Ricky Jackson, who's arguably the greatest defensive player in Madden right now. He gets 95 speed, 95 excel, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move, guys. Powered up and kept up this Ricky Jackson's the best pass rusher in the game. Probably the best defender in the game. Scoop him, guys. You won't regret it. I promise you, Ricky Jackson's an absolute goon. Middle linebacker, again, just like defensive tackle position that just isn't being used this year. Uh, again, Jalen Smith, Jalen Smith is good, right? We just got this Chris Spellman, Spielman, sorry. Only 90 speed though, which of course we are way beyond 90 speed. Best middle linebacker though, Jalen Smith takes it, but you know, no one's gonna be using him. But powered up and chemed up, Jalen Smith will get a 97 speed, which is great. 98 hit power, 99 zone. He could get to 90 block shot potentially if you put the right chems on him. You know, he has a decent change of direction, only an 87, 90 impact blocking. Again, there's a reason why safety, they don't, these middle linebackers just don't look good because safeties are just so much better in comparison and the way they play. Right outside linebacker, we got Darryl Talley, but the thing with Darryl is simply this, right? I mean, look at his card. He gets the block shed, but his power move is super bad. And again, we're not getting an 87 speed run stopper, right? And that, that's kind of the issue with a card like that, which is why we're kicking it back down to the lower ranges for the right outside linebacker spot. Now, again, there's so many good pass rushers. You really don't have to even be thinking about this too much. Lawrence Taylor or Derek Thomas are obviously the top choices. Now, the thing, though, is that Derek Thomas at the meantime is going to be the better option because of his, you know, like recency bias. But Lawrence Taylor is getting a card soon. So I may advise to get Lawrence Taylor for now. Get Lawrence Taylor, power him up, and just know that his ultimate legend or whatever is coming soon and he's going to be a, a defensive god, right? You, you just know it's coming. Uh, corner, cornerback, moving back up to here. We have some really good cornerbacks in the game as of recently as well. Although, I wish they would have made Darrell a little bit faster. He's probably going to be on this list here. Now, first and foremost, guys, this Darius Slay is insane. Darius Slay will get 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 man, 99 press, 99 play rec. With 83 catching and 87 hit power, guys, you cannot go wrong. Darius Slay is the best cornerback in the game. Set that. Don't even think about that. Next, of course, okay, so we have a bunch of corners here, right? We have a bunch of new corners that recently just came out, like Sean Springs, um... Now, Sean Springs, again, he won't get 99 man, 
which is going to be the downfall of him in my personal opinion. Biggest 99 speed, right? So if you want 99 speed corners, Sean Springs a honorable mention, right? But he won't get 99 man, which in my opinion is super important. Then for Antoine Winfield, the issue with him is he won't get 99 speed, right? So at the moment in time, I think that we're rocking with, in my personal opinion, we're rocking with Darius Slay, Sean Springs. Now with Dunter Robinson, he gets 99 speed and 99 man. He's only 5'10", though, so again, height. But for the time being, I think we have Darius Slade, Dunta Robinson, and Sean Springs. But don't forget, Deion Sanders is an upgrade away from having a Beast League you know, card as well. So don't, don't forget about him. And then Brent Grimes, of course, this common issue with him, they never make him they never make him as good, and he's always tiny, guys, but he will get 99 speed as well. He will get the stats, but it might, Dunta Robinson may be a little bit better. Uh, Brent Grimes isn't bad, but like I said, he will not get the... Um, he will not, he doesn't have the height, but neither did uh, Dunthan Robinson, right? So it comes down to who you prefer. And then at free safety, guys, coming on down, we have probably have Brian Dawkins. I mean, Brian Dawkins is good. The issue with free safeties, guys, I really don't think you should be investing too much money into free safety right now. I think we're moments away from some banger free safety upgrade. Because, like, you look at Brian Dawkins, a bit cheaper. You come to, you come to Mike Minter. Mike Minter gets the same speed. Now, Mike Minter will get the better man coverage, a little bit better zone, you know, all that stuff. But still only, you know, only 5'10". In my personal opinion, guys, you wait on free safety. We're going to get a free safety pretty soon that is 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone. He's going to be tall, right? We know it's coming. I would wait on free safety, guys. Do not go all in and spend money on a free safety right now. Get a placeholder, like I said, a cheaper Dawkins, and then just rock with that. Or Justin Reed for the speed. Now, at strong safety, guys, I actually really like Eric Berry. Now, Sammy Knight, nothing wrong with Sammy Knight, but his 93 speed just is not going to cut it, right? Compared to Eric Berry, Eric Berry is one of the best safeties in the game. Maybe, maybe the best safety in the game, right? He has, he's six feet tall, off the rip, good height, 99 speed, 98 excel, 99 man, 99 zone, 96 hit power, 99 play rec, as well as 82 catching, uh, 76 spec catching, 95 change of direction, which is great for a user, guys. Eric Berry's just insane, 85 press, which will be a 90 press as well. Eric Berry's insane, set it and forget it at safety, I, I really like this new Eric Berry. But guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up. If you need coins, head down to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.